Alright guys, so today I figured I'd channel my inner game theory and talk about the Beat Saber lore. Now some of you may be like, there was Beat Saber lore? And yes, there is Beat Saber lore, and it's actually quite deep. Alright, so uh, let me pull up the graph really quick. So here is the Beat Saber lore chart. Now, Beat Saber lore started off when a man named John Beat Saber, you may recognize him, uh, created the game Beat Saber. Now, looking at Beat Saber at face value, it may just seem like a VR rhythm game, but it is much more deeper than that, actually. Now, when John Beat Saber created Beat Saber, he picked the colors blue and red to represent the blocks. You may be thinking, oh, they chose this because blue and red are contrasting colors and it would make it easier for the player to beat the game. Well, actually, when you combine the colors of blue and red, what color do you get? That's right, purple. And you wanna know who else is purple? That's right, purple guy. So that already means Five Nights at Freddy's and Beat Saber are connected and in the same universe, confirmed. Now you may be thinking, what does Five Nights at Freddy's have to do with Beat Saber? Well, Five Nights at Freddy's has to do everything with Beat Saber. Now think about it. How many animatronics are there in the original Five Nights at Freddy's? You have Freddy, Bonnie, Foxy, and Batty. Now, think about how many songs there were in the original soundtrack four for Beat Saber. That's right, four songs. And what number of soundtrack was it? Four. Now, four appearing three times between Beat Saber and Five Nights at Freddy's, this cannot be a coincidence. Four must have some sort of significance. But what kind of significance, you may be asking? Well, here's my theory. That brings us to the Bible. Now you may be thinking, what does the Bible have to do with Five Nights at Freddy's and Beat Saber? Well, hold on to your horses, because this is about to blow your mind. You know how four was a prominent number in all of this? Well, guess how many letters are in the original Beat Saber creator's name? That's right, four. John. Now you may be saying, what does four have to do with all of this? Well, think of the four dimensions. That's right. Four animatronics, four songs, four OSTs, four dimensions. We have length, width, height, and time. Now, which of those words only have four letters in them? That's right, time. Time is the only one of those with four letters, which means it's the only relevant one, of course. Now, if we use this time variable and go back in time, we can go back to where the Bible was started. And who is one of the most prominent people in the Bible? That's right, John the Baptist. And you wanna know who else's name is John? That's right, John Beat Saber, the creator of Beat Saber. Now, as many people know, John the Baptist was the forerunner to Jesus Christ. So, what does that make the player? Well, you're not going to believe this. You, the player, are actually playing as Jesus Christ. Now, Beat Saber has two sabers, the blue saber and the red saber. And you may be thinking, what does that have to connect with all of this? Well, the blue saber obviously stands for the ocean, which everyone knows Jesus can walk on water. So it makes sense that the player is Jesus Christ. And red, of course, simulates love, which Jesus loved everyone. So, in conclusion, the whole point of Beat Saber is the player is Jesus Christ, and the player is using the sabers of water and the love to destroy the blocks of sin that come towards them. Or it could just be a normal rhythm game that has no lore to it either. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really work really hard on the script. All right, bye. <laughs>